size matters not. Look at me. Just me by my size, do you? Hmm? Hmm. Hello guys, Mikas here. Today I wanted to explain a little more why I love the Turbo Flash so much. It's my favorite vehicles with the buggy and the reason is because I like to play infantry the most. And these two vehicles are the fastest way to get into action. The load that I use the most is the Racer Chassis, Nanite Auto Repair and the NFI Turbo of course. I also have M40 Fury mounted on it with thermal optics. It can be useful to finish vehicles or get some infantry kills on the way. But most of the time I use this vehicle just for the transport. The good thing about it is that it's very cheap, only 59 nights so I can almost pull it anytime I want. When defending sometimes it's almost faster to pull a turbo flash and jump to the action than use the teleport room. And it's also way more fun. The most interesting part in turbo flashing is the jump. If you find a good launching pad you can prepare yourself for very long and with the light assault jetpack you can extend this with the slingshot. For me this is the perfect mix of epicness and fun. Only Planetsat 2 has a mechanic like that. And then after landing it's another game, totally different. So this maneuver can allow you to close the gap without the enemies noticing. That's why I choose close range carbines or shotguns. I try to land very close from the enemies on an elevated position so I can wreck them by surprise. Here I'm using the pump action shotgun for the TR, the uppercut. I love the sound and the beam effect when you insta -gee people. You have to be aware that when you do this you'll most likely be alone surrounded by enemies so you must keep moving and only engage at your optimal range. Many times the enemies will not expect you, so you must exploit the surprise advantage to the maximum. That's why I always have C4 equipped when doing this. It's awesome to take down group of clueless enemies. Combine this with the grenades and you can blow up a ton of stuff before going down. My usual loadout is called the Demolition Man. Two C4 bricks, four grenades and my bolts. <laughs> The most important is to stay mobile like often, this is during and after the jump so even if they spot you they cannot track you easily. When you turbo jump with the flash many people will see you but if you go fast enough you'll be very hard to hit. So with this loadout I'm training survivability for firepower. I know some light assault prefer to use medkits to heal instantly after each engagement but I prefer to have C4 for the boom effect. And I use the regeneration implant at rank 4 which starts healing you after 11 seconds without taking damage. So I think it's a very good substitute for the medkits. I often heal over time if I can survive long enough. So another way to use the flash against vehicles is to stick your C4 on it and charge the tanks. I love this technique because I feel like a troll when I get the tank with the flash. It's like David versus Goliath. Many tankers don't expect to get wrecked by a flash. So to do this you just need to prank the two C4 bricks at the front of the flash. After that some people like to resupply so they can carry more than two C4. Two C4 bricks on the flash and two bricks on them. But I don't do this because I'm too impatient and the C4 is very expensive. 100 nanites per brick. So each time you fail this costs you 200 nanites. So once the C4 is planted, keep it selected before you get in the flash so we can detonate right after we bail. And after that tracking down tanks is a very funny part. If you get spotted you can go down very fast so you need to keep a low profile until the last moment. This is when you boost in the direction of your target. If you don't have a direct line of sight you can use the minimap to pinpoint where you need to go. The enemy vehicles are usually spotted at 100 meters automatically on the map. This is if they don't have stealth equipped. So after bailing I like to jetpack in the air for more epicness. And that way I see the flash very well charging the target. 
I just wait for the C4 to be close enough and beep. This is why I love the Turbo Flash so much. You can have a ton of fun for 50 nanites. Also the handling has been improved a lot compared to the early days. Now it's very easy to control and you rarely flip it and rage. <laughs> so that's why I think it's one of the funniest vehicles to use. You can pull it anytime and do crazy things with it. I just wish it had the 360 view when in third person like the buggy. I still don't understand why it's not implemented yet. So I'll let the video continue with some of my best jump recently. I hope this inspires you to have more fun jumping. And that's it. If you enjoyed the video please let me know. Of course feel free to leave your feedback below if you have. Support the channel on Patreon to help me post more videos. I'll be very grateful and you'll have access to more content from me. Have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.